Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joseph from ScreenBite and welcome to my video instruction guide on how to set up your Ninox Venator. Now, the instructions that come with this mouse are actually pretty straightforward and easy to understand, but me being a visual person, I wanted to go ahead and make a video instruction on how to do it to hopefully help other people out there who are like me. So, to start things off, let's learn how to reset the mouse. To do this, you are actually gonna hold down both left and right click and then plug in the mouse. And voila, just like that, it sets it to its default profile of red, which is 400 DPI. Now, when you, to know it's fully reset, you actually will push the profile button and there should be three profiles, red for 400, blue for 800, and green for 1600. And all three of these profiles can be fully customized. Uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and customize is the 800 DPI profile, but keep in mind, in any profile, it can be set to any DPI and any color, which is awesome. So to do this, you're gonna hold down the button, the profile button, for five seconds. The lights will flash, and now you're in editing mode. And you'll also know you're in editing mode because your mouse will no longer move on your desktop. So, let's go over the colors. Now, each color is associated with a DPI, and as you go through the motions, each one will light up to its corresponding color, which we'll go over. So, to change DPI, that is going to be the front and side, or well, the front and back side buttons, or mouse four and five. Uh, to go up, up in DPI, you are going to push the forward, and to go down, you will push the back. So, let's start at the beginning here, and it will flash for each DPI stage that you're in, and I'll explain what each one means. So, the very first stage that you're going to have is white for 400. You have red for 800, pink for 1000, magenta for 1200, 1400 for violet, blue for 1600, Sky blue for 1800, cyan for 2000, green for 4000, toxic green for 6000, yellow for 8000, and orange for 12000. But I have no idea why you'd ever want to go up that high. And once it switches, it'll go back to the default color that you have set up. So I want mine to be at 800, which means I need to go to red. Boom and it's gonna flash back to blue. Now, the next thing that you wanna do here is choose your LED color. Now to do that, you're actually going to click left and right mouse accordingly. And the left mouse button is going to be for the next color and the right, oh sorry, the previous color and the right mouse button is going to be for the next mouse, next color. Jeez, can't talk right now. <laughs> All right, so let's start at the beginning. Now, it's once again going to change the colors, but it's not gonna change the DPI. So we are gonna start at white, and you can go through all of the colors that we discussed for each of the DPI stages. Now, to match my setup, I feel like a nice pink is gonna look great. Perfect. Now my colors are set up. Now, you can also mess with the light settings, and I believe there are four steps of light. To do that, that's going to be your middle mouse button. Stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. And that's as bright as it goes. Now, the next thing that you control is your liftoff distance. And to do that, that is just simply your scroll wheel up and down, up for to raise it and down to lower it. I like to keep it nice and low. So I'm just going to do that. Unfortunately, they don't have a direct way to track your liftoff distance on the mouse, but that's not a huge deal. With that, my mouse is almost entirely set up. So to go back to actually being able to use the mouse, we're once again gonna hold down that profile button for five seconds. The colors will flash, and now my settings are changed. Nice, and you can tell this because now you have the green for 1600, red for 400, and my 800 is this nice pink color. Now the last thing that you can do with this mouse is set the polling rate. I like to play at a polling rate of 1000. So to do this, you're once again going to be unplugging and plugging the mouse back in. 
and holding in the side buttons as you do it. So to go to a thousand, you're gonna hold down the front button while plugging in the mouse and to go to 500, you're gonna hold down the back button. So let's go ahead and swap it to 1000 now. Pull down the button. And boom. It is now at a thousand hertz. And that pretty much does it. Um, just follow this lighting and DPI guide and you'll be setting up your Ninox Venator in no time. Have a good day.